got those slotted in the front end and just threading this in. Lower shock bolt mount, 74 foot pounds. Sway bar is 13 millimeter on both ends and it's 16 foot pounds. So E-brake cable, there's a little bracket right here. Seven hex bit. I forgot to record, but last touches on this side, you're going to connect this connector and put it back in this slot right here. And then make sure to kind of feed all the clips. Make sure these clips are all attached. And then uh, this side, it only has the, I think it's the ABS or wheel speed sensor. I'm not sure which one. And the other side has the brake pad sensor as well. So uh, let's go to that side. Okay, so on the right side, there is this brake pad sensor right here. It feeds into the brake pad. So we have to feed the sensor through the caliper. There's these clips that go into the piston of the caliper right here. So. And if you, if the piston is too compressed, then use a C-clamp or something to push that piston back in. And then start feeding. Feed it through this uh, rubber cap through the brake bleed. And feed it through one, two, three, four, five. And then you've got these two wire clips. Oh, also, this is the bracket that these two go into, and I took it off so I could get access to these uh, subframe bolts. This is the brake pad sensor. This is, I think it's the ABS wheel speed sensor. 
Gray goes up top, black goes on the bottom, and then also don't forget on this clip housing, on this side there's two little clips just to hold these inner wires. Okay, home stretch. Just gotta do the exhaust. Next up is this exhaust, the O-ring hanger, 13 mil bolt. And then do the same on the other side. This one is the pain in the ass. Okay, the reason I do the middle one bolt instead of these two is because that inner one, the inside one, it's kind of hard to get in there. So it's just easier to do, remove this one. The exhaust is finally in. It's hanging on the hangers here. This one's a little loose and right there. The head of the bolt is 13 mil and the nut itself is 12 mil. Uh, I hear brass nuts uh, tends to be <laughs> brass nuts. Uh, tends to help with rust corrosion resistance. If you don't have that, just put on some anti-seize and so once that's in, uh, don't forget this is a charcoal canister pipe on the left side, the driver's side. You zip tied it. I don't know, I, th I think there was two of these metal clamps. You can get a hose clamp or I just zip tied it because the top of this is just open. It just goes up in there. It's just an open hose so I figured that's probably good enough. Don't forget to connect your sway bars. The e-brake cable, there's that little bracket holder right there, the plastic one. Oh yeah, don't forget to put the washer nut and secure the heat shield again. I, I ended up taking off four of those, one, two, three, and four. Make sure it kind of clears the drive shaft so it doesn't hit that. Yeah, should be good to go. Oh, this thing, I guess I hit something at some point and that shifted all the way back to here. So I just kind of moved it back and zip tied it. I think it broke off the screw that goes into the body. So hopefully that just holds. We'll keep an eye on it. And the last thing here is putting in the fender welds.